Hi everybody, it's Julie. Good morning. Today I am going to be making my four cover patch um, pieces for, this is for the <laughs> July Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge. And my theme is flamingos. So I'm going to be using some pages. These are three pages out of the 84 files of pages for the Flamingo and Friends Digital Kit. It is on sale in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. So these are the three pages that I have chosen. This is the small tags and then two pages from the ephemera pages. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this. And so the first thing I need to do is I need to pull out um, the pictures or the, yeah, the images that I want to use for my layered, the main, image here. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I am holding with my left, ripping with my right, so hopefully I'll get that white edge from my paper. And you saw pulling it down and towards me, it gave me a little more of the edge so there's one and then I need this one and this one and I think I need this one so let's go ahead and I'll rip those and we'll be right back okay so I have four book pages here and those are going to be what I want to use as my base for these. So I have these two and I have these two, oh, and a fly, um, little goodies. And so, um, I have this net. It had lemons in it apparently at my daughter's house and I'm going to use it for um, behind two of these. So behind these two. And pull it. <clears throat> but I thought net would be kind of fun to have in a tropical journal. Let's go ahead and cut this. So that's going to work really, really good. We'll go ahead and I'm just going to cut this across. Put that on there. And that'll give me two nets. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue these two down. Um, we'll use the fabric tack because it will have um, it'll be thicker and be able to get through that net and onto the paper. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so this is a layered cover patch. You don't have to use it for a cover, um, but it can be used on a cover. Okay, so now I want to make sure that my glue is getting through the net and onto that paper. So I am pushing down. Okay, so let's see how it's doing. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, and then I need it for a second one. 
And I think we'll go ahead and put it on this one. Okay. So I'm just going around the edge, putting this down. Remember, I need to use my four of the things. So I have a digital, I have trash, and I have book page so far. Okay. Then I'm using digital, trash, and book page so far. Okay. We'll let those dry. We're going to move on to these other ones. I'm bringing out the trusty little green mat from Dollar Tree. My new Dollar Tree had the mats and um, I love them. I think that they are awesome. I'm going to come over here and with my X-Acto knife, I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Okay, and that will give me like a little pocket. I think I'll cut that all the way to this spot. This is one of the things I like to do on um, <laughs> on things. I like to do that. <laughs> okay, a little map back where it goes. And this time I'm gonna use a dollar, uh, dryer sheet. Okay. So now for this, I want to be able to get in that pocket. So I'm going to put glue across the top of the, where I've cut. So across the top, creating a pocket, and then I'm going to go around the outside. And then I'm going to put it on my dryer sheet. Okay. Then I'm going to cut my dryer sheet. I'm not going to rip it this time. Sometimes I'll rip it because it comes, it, it does really cool stuff when it's ripped. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go around this again. Okay, and I just want to make sure that I'm above where my mark is. And then I'm going to go around the outside. Okay. So a laver, layered cover patch, and then I am going to go ahead and come in and I'm going to you know what, I think we'll, we'll rip it first. I'm going to rip Okay, so yeah, so eventually we're going to rip all the, those as well, but there, that one is, is ripped. And then you can decide if you want to come in and rip your dryer sheet, which I think after all, I'll at least rip that part since I wanted to show you. Okay, so there's that, and then we have one more 
and um, it's supposed to be on dryer sheet also. I don't know if my dryer sheet piece, oh yeah, it's big enough, okay. This one we're just doing regular. We're just gonna put it on the dryer sheet. Okay, so this will go onto the dryer sheet like that. And we'll cut around it. Again, you can rip it if you want to rip it. And so that gives us digital, trash, and book page. So we need to add one more thing to each of these to take care of the four thing requirement. So you can see, you could just have a stack of dryer sheets and um, go through and just rip a whole bunch of items, get them ready, then put them on book pages and have these ready for your journals. So I'm going to go ahead and rip around the book pages on the other three and we'll be right back. Okay, so now I have my four bases and they each have a book page, trash, and a digital. And so we are going to go ahead and add um, other things. Okay. Um, okay, starting with these two, I am going to go ahead and add these these images and I think I want to go ahead and cut them okay I love this page because it has things in so many different sizes even has the words a couple parts of the words from the poem that is from the the antique book, the tropical antique book, digital. Okay, so we have those two. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and add this one. Okay, so this is another digital image. So it doesn't count as it is. Okay. So, oops. Little calling card. Okay. And that one's going to go there as a pocket. I need a second trash can. I need a tr trash can that is actually for trash and a trash can that is just for paper because I shred my paper and use it in the garden for the worms and, and you know, to, because I compost in place. And so I need to be doing that okay so this one I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in my little pocket okay so that's gonna go in my little pocket this one's going to be a pocket and then these two are gonna go on here let's go ahead and we're gonna add an art supply so we're gonna use the um, metallic marker in gold. Oh, I found it. Okay, we don't need to. We don't need to open a new one um, from Dollar Tree, and I did get one 
when it, at my new, my brand new Dollar Tree. So we are going to use our pen and I'm gonna go, it's already ready to go around the outside. I'm gonna go ahead and go around the outside and this is an art supply. So I have finally used an art supply And there we go. So that will give contrast to this little card I'm putting on here. And we mass kind of did a mass make. I, I think would be really cool to, to continue to use the items that I have here on those digitals. I am going to use those um, three pages for the next couple of days uh, for making things for my challenge journal, but if you are participating in the tropical collab with dear Julie Julie and Kara Brandon creations um, you could go ahead and do these and have them for your project okay so there we go and those that gives us each one has four things done on it and so I think that is really cool. Now we can, we could go ahead and leave this open and it could be like a tuck and something else could tuck in there. Maybe, you know, I've got these tickets up here. So maybe a ticket could tuck in there. Could even almost go in the pocket. Um, or it could go, you know, in the side. But um, I'm not going to do that this time. I'm, I need to keep things a little more flat. So what this will do is this gives you a ready-made decoration to use in your journal. And you can use these on your cover. You do not have to use this for your cover. Okay. I just call them a cover patch because it's a really simple, like I could make these four, make um, a simple cover out of fabric or scrapbook paper and then put this patch on the front and I think that it would be, okay, that one doesn't need to be glued and this one we want it to be a pocket. Okay, now in this challenge, Every, everywhere that you have a pocket or a tuck, it does need to have something in it this time. So I'm going to go ahead and go up there and grab one of those tickets. It doesn't, the what's in the pocket doesn't have to be decorated or anything, but the pocket needs to have something in it. So let's take the flinch card. I have a mini flinch card. That's uh, from the flinch card kit from Dear Julie Julie. And let's see if this one, I've got, I remember I cut that page of tickets up. So I've got a lot of tickets up here. I don't need one that's very long. So there we have four cover patches and they each have book page. They have trash. This one has the netting from the lemons and this has dryer sheets. And then they have a digital because remember you have to use Dear Julie Julie digitals in your challenge Um in your challenge and that is one of the items that you can use and counts towards your four 
So um, a Dear Julie Julie Digital, and then we added the gold pin as the art supply. Okay, I love it. I, lo I love these four. I think that they are going to be great in my journal. And um, remember, I did do for a mini challenge in the challenge, we did a cover patch. So this is the cover patch that I put on using images. I used an image from the antique sketchbook. Um, and so these just need to find a home inside here. So I'll be looking for that. And so like this could go right on there and that would be your decoration. And you can turn, these can be turned into pockets, tucks, all of those things as well. So this is a good place to put something, okay? Um, you still have the, the flamingos and um, I kind of like that. I think we'll put that on there. Might as well get this done, right? Okay, well, what am I, what am I doing then? I'm, oh, I guess I'm, I guess I'm not making it a pocket. <laughs> I was going to make it a tuck. Oh, well, it's okay. It's just going to be a pretty page. And I want to see that flamingo up there. That one you can kind of see behind. Yeah, so we see this one and we see this one. And there, and it's pretty flat. Okay. That also gave stability to this page. This is going to be a great place that you can write. Um, now we should do something here. And I'm just going to take one of Sally's daisies and add that to this page next to it here. Wow. Pick the biggest scissors in the in the thing. So these were okay, and since it's pink here and we've got that, yeah, we'll do this right here. Just this. And maybe I did get I have some gems from Hobby Lobby that are that color as well. It's interesting, they are, um, it's a whole block of them. They're not like lines of it like I thought they were. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know what, let's cut, let's cut a line and we'll have that ready. And you know me and my dot, 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 that's what we're gonna go with. So I'm gonna cut off a dot, dot, dot any time that you can remind, I think we'll go in to the side here. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we decorated the page next to it. Oh, this needs, this definitely needs something right on top of it. I think we'll go with that and that, that will cover it cover up those words and see and when I did this page I was thinking that a, a top tuck could go here so let's see there was, there was a page left. Yeah, there it is. There, there was some paper left. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll turn this into a top tuck so something can go in there. I'm, I, I, I'm not gonna worry about that. Let's, um, you know what? Let's add washi tape. That won't take up as much. Let's 
that'll give me a straight line to see. That lace is also from um, Sally's stuff. Okay, and then I can just cut, hopefully cut straight along the edge of the washi. And with that, we will have taken care of these two pages. And then, of course, now we've added a tuck here. Okay, let's go into the corner. So we need to put something in that tuck. And we do have our stack of sticker. Also. I'm gonna flip flop. There we go. There we go. That'll That'll do it, okay? And, sorry about that. That was, uh, okay, I kinda like the idea of this on that flap right there, okay? Okay, and then I think we'll just add some washi. what changed my mind I have I have this yeah let's put that Here for this other one. Oh, same bird. This is the center of the signet. We could put this here and cut that and make this the an opening. We have our giant fall card there. This could go here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so. Since this is the smaller piece, I'm putting the, the glue on that instead of on this piece. Okay. Put it on and then pull it over. Okay. So there we go. And now we've got this area. You know what? 
I think we'll add this. And I like to add washi tape. Whoa, I've got a, a craft lanch going on over here. I'm, I'm not surprised. So I've got to get my stuff together. Kara and I are going to be doing um, Christmas in July together. We have a set of papers. I gave Kara a set of the Christmas basic papers when I was, when I, when we met a couple weeks ago. And so we are going to both play with those and see what we can come up with. I think that'll be kind of fun. I'm going to go ahead and add glue on here, even though it's a sticker just to make sure that it stays down. So this is one of my stack of stickers and we're gonna add that to this page here. Okay, probably should have saved the toucan for the tropical collab because there's toucans in there, but that, there you go. It just, it's got orange, got orange. And so remember, you are to put your items in and then decorate the page next to it. And it does not have to have the four things. It just has to have something done to it. Thinking that this might be a way to um, finish your journal faster um, rather than, so like when we did our envelope corner tuck here, I did this little decoration here and that's done. And so I just think it's gonna be really cool to be able to go through and, um, and have those things, have those things done. So I'm, I'm really liking this journal, all the eclectic, wonderful things, over 200 pages of items in here we need to add those in still okay so i hope you enjoyed and i hope you will come back at one o'clock today and join us again um kara and i will be here at one o'clock christmas in july christmas in july so so don't forget the journals, um, the journal kits are available in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. Um, check out the collab details. It's in the description box down below um, the video for that. Our collab starts on August 5th. On Friday, I have a craft with me with the Patreons. You are all invited. Bring a dad's bank envelope. We'll be working with that and some scrapbook paper that you like that goes with the dad's bank envelope that you've chosen eight and a half by 11 or bigger and so yeah so we've got that going on on friday and vip is tomorrow those that finish their june journal your vip invitation has been is in the june group you follow the link and it'll take you to the group where we are going to be having the party on Friday. So, gosh, this, there's just so much fun stuff in here. Fun, fun, fun. Fun, tabulous flamingo journal here. So we need something for this page that is going to help hold it. So like that other one is going to help it. I love it. Okay. So we made four cover patches. There's one. And there's two. We also decorated the pages that were next to them. And let's see. Where's three? There's three. And it became a flip, a flap. A flap three and back here somewhere 
back here. We have four also a flip made it a flips flap. Okay. And decorated the page next to it. So find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.